Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. We are trying out this game, Heroes Hour. Like I said, my buddy's got the game, plays the heck out of it, told me it was great, wonderful, I'm gonna try it out. I can already tell just from watching him play a little bit and then diving around. Seems like a game that's right up my alley, so hopefully we'll be able to crank out some stuff that's really fun, get a video series going on it, as I feel like this would be a fun game to learn with you guys. Seems very similar to Dominion's, but this tactical battle system, I love it compared, much more interactive than Dominion's style. Let's jump right in. Oh lord, a map with no clear borders, true invitation for war. Okay, we don't know what the hell we're doing, but we could try it out, I suppose. Tiny. Oh, these are the size of maps. Okay. Tiny, small, medium, beat all opponents to win. If a player loses control of their flower of life, they're defeated. What the hell? Okay, so those are like extra victory settings, I guess. Premier competitive 1v1 map. Let me make sure the other one does not tag far ahead. All buildings, but no. Okay, there's weird requirements on all of these. Let me know down in the comments if there is a map that's considered standardized for getting started. Because I've done the tutorial. It was boring, so I didn't bother saving the recording. Sorry, there are no walls you might be able to run straight to the opponent if there weren't for the hostile roaming heroes in the desert. Okay, gold. I have no idea. Hero of the hour. That sounds... Hero's hour is the name of the game. Sure, let's do that one. This is me. Three computers. Okay. All right, now, how do I... How do I pick this one? Oh boy. Can I see what they are? No, this is the arcane. It's pretty straightforward what they are from the names. I mean, order looks like arcane is magic. Fire is something with fire. Ord is probably orcs. Hide is water something. Enclave? No idea. Rogue? That's the new DLC. So that's a, I think that's the like roaming animals on the world map or something. Pillar? I think... That's the nation we glanced at that was very much like Tian Chi. Decay, I would assume that's the undead. Lament, no idea. Is it an ant people? Like an ant hill or something? Wild, that's the elves for sure. Earthen, that's probably dwarves. Dwarves are underground creatures, one of the two. Delirium, that might be the weird nation my buddy plays, which has strange like Cthulhu style creatures. Or random, let's just do a random. And try and figure this out. What's this? Oh, whoa, not messing with the defaults. All right, let's go with the defaults. Let's see what happens. And this is my first time recording with this game, so let me know if the sound is a little whack-tastic. I think I want some sound. A little bit of background. Okay, so here we are, Marble Hall. And this is our... Do those guys have both have guns? Okay, do we double-click him? Yes, okay. Artisan. Edzurin the Artisan. Okay, he's uh, attack, increases damage dealt by creatures and heroes army by 3%. Okay, knowledge. Oh, oh. I'm guessing this is the other way. Defense. Health. So damage versus health. This is just like Heroes of Might and Magic. Knowledge increases max mana by 10 and daily mana regen. So essentially 10% mana regen. Two per day. So zero gives you one, one gives you two, etc. Spell power increases the effectiveness of all spells cast by the hero by 10% per stat and decreases spell cooldowns by 4%. What are those symbols? Are those, those look like different kinds of spells. The top left one looks like, I'm not sure, but the top right one looks like ice or water or something. Maybe that represents bonuses. I have luck gives 2% per stat for each attack by your creatures to be lucky strike. Oh, crit. Doing three times damage in a four times larger area. That's interesting with great knockback. I haven't seen that before. Morale gives your creatures a 45% chance per minute. Ooh, that's a long time in a battle per stat to enter high morale. I wonder if that per minute is sped up if you speed up the battles. Attack twice as fast. Wow. Move twice as fast and attack twice as fast for 10 seconds. Positive morale protects against fear, while negative morale gives your units a chance to become terrified by any attack. Okay, so fear. It's dominions again. We got a fear-based economy here. Movement per turn, one tile or diagonally. Ooh, so it's not like Heroes of Might and Magic. If I remember correctly, going diagonal was like one and a half squares. Command, increase the amount of units you can control. 100 units okay per point so okay if a hero has more units in this limit they may be deployed later during combat that's interesting so you can actually carry more than your command proficiency improves the hero's specialty with goblin gunner units goblin guard goblin gunner okay is that just a is that unique to each hero or is that always goblin gunner for this nation or whatever so i'm a goblin nation interesting Okay. Rate of seven units. Wait, hold on. Recruits goblin gunners for this hero's army over time or goblin guard if your hero already has any in their army. So these guys have higher hit points than these guys. Wait, shift. Okay. Oh, that's nice. These guys have more hit points and power is two plus. What's the difference between power and damage? Let me know in the comments if you know. Four to seven damage, five to eight damage. So these are like the upgraded versions of these. Range slow, range slow, quick strikes. Okay, so they're just a faster upgraded version, I'm guessing. So if you have any goblin 
guards in your army, you get goblin guards instead of goblin gunners at a rate of 7 units per week. Is that one per day or is that just at the end of the week? Gain 3% health and damage per fit. Wow, so your person, where is that smithing alchemy? No, uh, what does this do? Oh, that's the same but in a different format, I guess. This is neat. Bodyguards and entourage by 2, giving them some entourage. Oh, support heroes, extra units during battle like a bodyguard. Okay, number scales of the number of days that wait. What number scales of the... Uh, power worth of units oh power okay so power is like food hold on power is like their food or whatever because here it says number of heroes you can control is power worth of units okay so that's their unit value basically power and this gives zero power worth of units as bodyguards oh because i'm at zero okay scales of the number of days that have passed 25 percent. i don't understand that there's a large penalty if this hero holds the majority of your units oh so your main that's weird your main president is not allowed to have a bunch of bodyguards that's odd reduce some bodyguards die in combat but regenerates over time so free units given enough time okay so it's the secret service except if you have an army you can't have it that's weird all right what is our guy good at how does this skill system work hero gains or after every battle okay so this guy needs to fight a lot oh that's nice it summarizes my whole hero here or increase your skill level. All right, give me a second, guys. I'm going to glance over all these skills. I'm sure you guys understand them all, but I'll point out if I see any that I think are really good. And right there, I think that's really good. Increases EXP gain by 25%. Teaches a hero spell now as well as each time they level up. I don't know what an arcane spire is. Entourage. There we go. How does this stack with this? I don't know. But having a bunch of wizards as my entourage seems pretty good. Units with magical attacks, five attack, five defense. Okay. After combat gives a hero a chance to gain or upgrade an artifact. Archery. Oh, that'd go good with these guys if they're shoot ranged, right? Oh, no. Magical. I bet they just distinguish between magical and range in this game offensive units oh so this is kind of like a smithing i can focus on the different types of weapons i have shield smith for defense offense ranged is there a magical one yep magical one okay cool so now i can choose what units i specialize in engineering gives a hero a war machine oh ballista and first aid station cost of all buildings and towns wow that seems really strong how high do the levels go let me know if you guys know sapper creates mines on the battlefield which triggers when enemy units step on them casting a fire spell okay why does this one only have three instead of four is there Anybody know? While the hero is camped, they will create and reinforce a fort. Receives units each day they remain camped. Units cannot be removed from the fort. So I can just create fortifications like castles by camping. Bodyguards. Entourage by plus two. More units. Good for support heroes. 200 power worth of units. Whoa. Okay. That's a lot of units for free. So if you have like, I guess this is for like backup heroes. You have backup heroes. This is probably very valuable. Diplomacy. Allows your hero to hire some of the defeated units for gold. That's pretty neat. Cost per unit starts at 105%. Decreased by 25% per rank. Does that count at rank one? No, it starts at 105. And then rank two would be 80%. And then rank three would be 55%. That's not bad. Units become stronger if the enemy army is deemed challenging or harder than the enemy army. How do you tell? if it's challenging i'm aiming at it i don't see anything i could have sworn in the tutorial i put my mouse over them and it told me how hard they were oh well we'll find out underdog i like that banditry gives a hero bandits each turn teaches i'll be honest with you the way they run the tutorial in this game you're kind of blind the entire time and then all of a sudden there's this really powerful dude beating on your doorstep and it's like what and you have no idea really what's going on but it, it teaches you at least the basic mechanics heroes bandits each turn oh wow teaches ambush allows the hero to go into a special combat scenario which they gain golden experience two bandits per rank per day and whenever the hero gains a level ambush map spell has a two-day cooldown combat against a non-affiliated hero available for hiring one of your opponent's taverns if defeated your enemy has to recruit a lower level hero oh if they go to recruit i guess you're just beating up people in their taverns that's weird gold bodyguards okay sorcery spell powers increase for the rest of the fight wow that is mana heavy creation after combat hero will create some magical creatures for their army okay regeneration increase in mana regen straightforward enough echo echo that spell will be cast again later wow that's that seems strong spatial rift an overworld spell that allows the hero to swap units to swap places with your other heroes oh that's dirty I have a bunch of little tiny heroes with this bodyguard thing running around the map and then when something big comes along that they can't beat up you just bloink, swap with them how's this work i mean it's the amount of units transport that would suck you did this and then you didn't swap all your units 150 power worth of units per rank oh that's not a lot this right here was 200 right yeah so just bodyguards alone is 200 and you can only do 150 per level and this requires level seven so if you go level seven eight nine ten to get level four you'd still only have 600 power that's that doesn't seem good mastery increases heroes proficiency including their sp or improving their specialization with goblin gunner okay so this goes up by two okay so you can just give them stats every unit's about to die it has 10 percent chance to instead getting 50 health. wow one percent for each point of luck uh, chance for your creatures lucky strikes right you'd have a lot of dangerous lucky strike and resurrecting people with that and the hero and their goblin gunner attacks isn't that my specialty unit yeah goblin gunner is my specialty unit they have oh okay so i bet specialty because i remember in tutorial my guy had a specialty point 
that also related to his specialty. I bet you it's most of these like take on their specialty. Chance to turn enemies into golden statues, instantly killing them and adding gold to the hero's coffers. Chance increases for each rank and is lowered for large enemies. Interesting. And the hero also gains 65 HP per rank. Huh. Where is his HP written? They're like a, is it like standardized per level? Because I don't see HP. I see mana. Anybody know what the HP of a hero is per level normally? Is 65 a large amount to boost or no? Still, turning them into gold seems like an insta kill proc chance. That's pretty good. Conversion at the end of the day converts up to 40 power worth of units into hero's army and a 55 power worth of hero specialty unit. Oh, so this is the, okay, so it's themed. That, I should have known that. That should be obvious. First unit's not belonging to the hero's faction. Wait. Oh, so it takes units that aren't from your nation and converts them to your specialty. That's cool. Gives the hero around 60 power worth of your specialty unit's entourage. Wow, this entourage can really get big, but since it says it's a massive penalty if the hero holds the majority of your units, that feels weird. That feels like you could balance around it, but then all of a sudden, what if your entourage, your bodyguard skill over here, you max this out? What if you just max this out and then you max out this? Would you have to then make sure you didn't get too many troops just in bodyguarding to like become your most units, or does it not count most units? Holds the majority of your units. Is it not? Not count bodyguards as units if anybody knows let me know all right so our dude is good at punching and kicking not so great at spells alchemy and smithing so or after every battle chance to upgrade and create an artifact all right so he's like a dwarf but with a fu manchu going on oh he doesn't have a fu manchu disappointing i thought he did on first glance okay so we have a bunch of archers let's go in our what's the hot key for this f1 Excellent. Arcane Order. Where did that say that? I saw Arcane Order. Arcane Reforger. So I'm the Arcane Nation. Guild of Mages, Archives of Magic, Credit Workshop, Hall of Shaping, Power, Aether, Center, Center of Arcane, Town Income by requires higher town level and Windspire to build. Can I build that? No, oh, requires higher town level and Windspire. Where's the Windspire? Arcane Spire? Is that the Wind Spire? This all here is a zero mana spell. Extra power. Oh, this, I recognize this town. Uh, this was in the tutorial, I think. I'm pretty sure, because I remember this, the zero mana spell with extra power. I remember that. Well, that's much easier. Good lord, that's much easier. What the? Why is this not the default? This is awful trying to go around and look around. I just wasted minutes trying to search around for random Windspire. Found it, Garus. Whereas I could just come in here and see everything. Upgraded Workshop, Goblin Gunner, and the Goblin Guards. Yeah, so it is an upgrade. Okay. Harvest Stalls. Plus one ore each day and allows trading ore for other rare resources. It allows units in the town to be created using ore instead of gold. Wow, that's neat. What does it lead to? Purchase bonuses? Okay. Guild of Mage. So I have spells already. Tower, gargoyle, or scroll. What the hell is this thing? It's a f scroll? It's just a piece of paper? I get a gargoyle or a piece of paper. I think I, I'm very tempted to get plus one ore each day because it seems like I could buy units for that. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say, since this leads to another building, I'm going to build it first because now I can build this if I find out it's good. Now purchase bonuses by spending aether and for artisans to purchase bonuses by spending ore. Is this an artisan? Yes. Hero does not need to be in town. Whoa, I can buy, hold up. I can buy bone. Um, all right. Where is the carver stalls? There it is. Okay. So pay for units with gold, pay for units with ore. Interesting. Okay, so I am very ore heavy, which makes sense since I believe his alchemy there gave me ore after every fight. We recruit troops. Goblin Gunner. I wish that. Hold on. Does R? No, there's no hotkey for unit creation. Arcane Reform. Oh, these are just the buildings I haven't built yet. Build the mages. Town Portal. That's useful. Seven day cooldown. Holy hell. Elemental air. Air elementals fight for you. Excellent. They need to have like a mod inspector for this game. Salt blast deals damage to all units. Whoa, even mine? Three times damage to summon units and dispels magic. Interesting. That doesn't seem good since I'm literally a nation named Arcane. I'm assuming everything's magical. Curse enemy units decrease their health, damage, and movement speed by 15% and lowering their knockback. Okay. Goblin living humanoid unit. Goblin living humanoid unit. Hmm. Cool. Let's take this guy and let's go find some... Is there a hotkey for him? Yes. One. Challenging. There. See? Yeah. See, it does describe what you're going to fight. Thought so. Treasure chest. Why fight when I can just... One of these do I want? I don't know. I'll go crystals. Wizards usually like things like crystals. Uh, hard, hard, impossible, impossible, impossible. Good lord. Impossible. Impossible. Hard, challenging, moderate. Moderate seems doable. And I really like ore. Is that ore? Yes. Okay. That I know is ore. Oh, it's okay. So they are always outside. Let's see. Get the free gold. Is that free? No. All right. Well, you guys are all being rude and hiding stuff. I'm going up here. Rawr. All right. Is that all we can do? If there's anything I'm missing is in terms of like a fundamental turn, let me know what I should do besides that because I don't lose. Treasure visions. Feed all opponents to win. Okay. So this is just win conditions. What is this? Whoa. What is this? The hell I can look up everything okay it has its own mod inspector what the this is so nice can I hover can I click oh I can oh so if I know oh this is nice they have the mod inspector built into the game 
Ooh, that's nice. Does it hover and tell? Yes, it does. Okay. Wow. Okay, that's really nice. How do I get out of here? There we go. Okay. That's really nice. I'm glad I clicked on that. Clues. See the game rules? Look up what treasures. Yeah. Dig for riches. Spell book. Any adventure spells? Do I have an adventure spell? I don't think so. Oh, camp. Makes the hero make a camp. Increases attack area and raises attack and defense by plus two and increases mana regeneration by 50%. Oh, that's nice. Reduces movement to zero. Ouch. Increases the resources gain. Resource gain by, from the closest mine by 50%. That's interesting. So if I have like a whole bunch of bodyguard loser guys, I could just put them by a bunch of mines and jack up the amount of money I'm making there. Okay, let's end our turn. Let me know again, guys, in the comments if there's anything I'm missing is like a major part of the turns. I did this for you for Dominions. Help me out here. Oh, oh wait, that was neutral. Roaming neutral. Yeah, let's do our... Good lord, we are just surrounded by stuff. Let's do our little town. Hopefully we get units to us before we move on. Okay, Wind Spire creates Icarus. Wing Tactics turns into a ranged attacker. Okay. Specialized infirmary that stores this. Okay, infirmary that stores the souls of faction units you gain. You get Chris Dahlius. Yeah, this was the nation I used in the tutorial. Spinning ether. Increases ether gain by Aethermancy. Does this Aethermancy? I'm assuming that's just any kind of spell casting involving air magic? Aether? Or gain via alchemy. Oh, alchemy. I have that. I get ore after every fight on my guy by one rank. A few aether things whenever you use the aether forge. Okay. What are aether things? Are they one of the units here? I wish. Jotun? Okay, Jin, Ice Sculptor, Golem, Scroll, Gargoyle, Tavern, Arcane Spire gives all heroes a zero mana spell with extra power. Whenever cast, the spell changes to another random one. Yeah, that was one, that was something that I used in the previous game to great effect. I love that. Current spell, Crystallize. I'm gonna pretend I know what that means. Maybe that'll help in this fight. All right, boys, let's dive in. Lash, Human, so I'm a melee, okay. And you're a range. Okay, so my hero is going to hold these guys off. What are these guys? Hill Keeper? Oh, God, it's Hodor. Oh, boy. And Rifleman. Ooh, that's not good. All right, let's see uh, what we can do. Can we cast spells here? Hold on. Curse. Crystallize. What does that do? Infects enemy units. You can kiss them in ice, stunning them. When taking damage, the ice will break, which doubles the damage taken just then. Elemental air. Group of air elementals. Ooh, that's expensive. 13 mana. How much is this? Five mana, five mana. I thought it said it was zero mana spell. Wait a second, they tricked me. I thought it said zero mana. I could have sworn it said zero mana. This says five mana, but all right. First salt blast. All right, elemental air. What we're gonna do is we're gonna summon this on the archers once the front lines meet. Oh, we, our front line just melted. So we're gonna drop them now. Oh, good Lord. Okay, we're holding them off pretty well with our ranged blasters. Let's go, come on range guys. Our hero is an expendable for. Do I get punished? Let me know in the comments if I get punished for dying in con. Oh, it looks like he's regenerating already. Okay. You guys are not keeping your distance very well. They're dwarves, for Christ's sake. They don't run fast. Oh, lord, we're just chucking rocks. This is pretty good so far. This looks pretty good so far. What do these things mean? Iced pond. Oh! All right, well, I had a chance. Okay, you lost two power. You lost 72 power. What results? To oh, neat. A is this a DPS meter? Yes, it is. Damage taken, 11 from the guards. What, goblin gunners took most of the damage. I forget which one's upgraded. The guards are the upgraded. Okay. I took most of the damage in my face. They took even more, though. Okay. Wow, they got beat up. Well, I did drop them in the middle of... What the hell are these? Permanent units summoned. Summoned a permanent... Oh, neat. Such a good breakdown. Okay, now that I got this, captured gives two ore per day. Get that. Pick up the ore. We need that. Did I just get plus zero? Plus zero, plus one. Okay, so I guess it counts as you go. Can I get that? Plus... Visiting Hero 750 experience plus 250 experience for each level once per game. Okay, a lot of these ideas are the same as Heroes of Might Magic. I remember... Imp Cash? I remember a lot of this similar stuff, but it feels different. Okay. Ending turn, hopefully I'm not missing out on some fundamental, crucial part of the game. Oh, is he coming for me? Wait, hold on. If I go this way, does does he attack me? Can I sneak past? I'm not going to chance it, but can I... Like, how do I sneak past that guy? Can I sneak past him? I don't know. I don't know. For a non-hostile faction, they're acting pretty funky. Yeah, see, my guy takes a wide berth around him automatically. Does he do the same thing here? No, that's interesting. Hard. Dwarves and archers. Do we have... 
what is this 14 out of 14 is that hit, hit points no is that movement exp and mana oh that's that's really nice that's really nice it not being persistent is not super nice but possible roaming neutral well let's build our town let's see what we can do in here Recruit heroes, power for gargoyles, wind spire. I like being able to recruit more troops, but what's more important? A wind spire, power six, flying tactics, or a tower, flying four, mechanical. Poison, confusion, fear, petrification, charm, or burning. I remember getting my absolute ass kicked by some creature that used confusion. I'm gonna get me some gargoyles. Are these guys immune too? No, fragile, oh hell no. Wait, when this creature goes below half health, it has a chance to cast a spell? Really? Is it one of my spells or just any spell? I still want the confusion immune gargoyles, because. I have PTSD from what I experienced. Down you go. Okay. Now, Mr. Gargoyleness, go up to this guy. Here we go. All right. Now, this guy wants to fight, but I don't think he can fight anything challenging. Oh boy. Challenging. Hard, impossible. I don't think these get any easier, so we might as well just brawl for the jar of Pandora, whatever the hell it is. All right. Let's do this. Gargoyles, you're up front too with me. What are you? Mountain Guard. These look like tougher versions of those fucking what are these things i wanted to read the valley or whatever it said rough terrain slows units beasts are slow that's as much crystal ruins enhance the magical abilities of nearby units magical attacks have higher health and damage are you a magical creature living humanoid creature no knockback what you're an archer with knockback am i the same thing nope uh oh all right let's uh let's flank these idiots that's that's our sneaky move. Go gargoyles! Oh, that was really fast. Um, if I crystallize these guys, can my hero take them out? Go! Beat them up! You've got this. Oh lord, maybe you don't have this. Curse these guys. They'll be slower. Oh my god, the gargoyles are not managing. Oh, you did not hero survive either. Okay, okay, the curse worked. Victory of the curse. Get cursed. Do we have longer range than them? No, it looks like they have longer range. Can I, like, click on these guys? No, but it shows me their stats. Whoops, I don't want to do that. Can I right-click on them? Yes, okay, that shows me their stats. Earth and living... Where's their range? Does anyone know where their range is? Does it show their range? This knockback is annoying. It's knocking back my archers. Repeatedly. I would curse you guys if I wasn't running out of freaking mana. I hope they're not magical creatures because that would hurt. Looks like we're losing a couple, but we're winning overall. Aha! The hero's back for revenge! He's like that guy that gets beat up and then when his team starts winning, he comes and kicks the guy. Rifleman, Mountain Guard. Power level 3, power level 3, 4, 2, 2. Okay. Not bad. Oh lord. Alchemy, or after every battle. Scholar. I think that one's good. 25% EXP gain. That would be like the best first point to take. EXP gain. Because I like EXP. Get this jar. What the hell is this? Plus 15 experience rate? Are you serious? Okay, we've got a theme. Is there more experience rate? No. Okay. Mana? Ooh, that's tough. Temporary mana or ruthless plate. Let's get the attack and defense. Buff our units. Oh, or We like or. Okay, we like ore. And there's a golden something there. All right. Excellent. All right, boys, I'm going to call episode one right there. We're going to come back for episode two and try to figure more out about this before these impossible neutral heroes start slaughtering us. Hopefully they don't just take my castle. Catch you guys on the next one. And never forget, boys, girls love guys who play Heroes Hour. <laughs>